Are you trying to watch me and you don't understand English? I have gotten so many requests to have my videos translated and I have some super exciting news. YouTube is rolling out a new feature where they will auto-dub your videos into different languages. So if you are a YouTuber in the United States and you have a following outside the U.S., you can actually produce your videos as you normally do and YouTube will do the work of dubbing the videos into different languages. I'm super excited about this for a couple different reasons. First of all, YouTube is a giant community of content creators and I am in the sewing community and sewing isn't like one of the biggest, most flashy niches in the swimming pool here. They're specifically rolling out this feature to sewing and cooking channels because they're instructional and I think that's a good format for dubbing. Secondly, like I mentioned earlier, I get lots of requests for translations and actually it was those requests that caused a little snafu that I had earlier in the week. If you follow along with me, you might have watched my cool tools that I uploaded on Monday and it was about um, organizing your tools into this lovely stash and store. Plus I reviewed some of my most favorite cool tools for 2024 and after it uploaded I started getting comments that said things like oh your voice sounds weird or why is this video dubbed or all of these different things. So initially I was not aware of YouTube's new feature that they were rolling out so I thought something was wrong with the way I edited or uploaded the video. So I tried re-uploading it a few times and that did not work. Then my husband got on board with me and did some research and he discovered the new feature that YouTube is rolling out. But that still didn't answer the question about why my video was dubbed in English. It's an English video and it was dubbed in English. So I went through my settings and I started to research this new feature. This new feature will take an English video and dub it into other languages like French and Japanese and Spanish and Indonesian and a bunch of different, you know, languages. So it didn't seemed to me like it should have been dubbing my English video in English. So when I tried uploading it again, some clever subscribers realized that if they clicked the settings icon under the video and select audio track and selected the Spanish audio track, they could hear my regular voice. So I went in and I looked at my settings and lo and behold, a long time ago I had changed my video language to Spanish in an effort to try to make Spanish captions. And I think that's what's, I mean, I know that's what screwed it up. And it wasn't noticeable because I, I had that selected in my dashboard, but when I looked at my videos, they were in English. The trouble became when YouTube rolled this feature out and added it to my channel. And so because I said it was a Spanish video, it dubbed it into English. So now I know what the problem is. So what I'd like to do today is two things. First, if you are a fellow YouTuber, I want to show you how you can find out if you have this feature on your channel because it's buried a little bit deep in the dashboard. So let's look at my dashboard and right here you can see I have my left menu. The first thing you want to do is scroll down to settings. So you're going to click on settings. Once you're in settings, you're going to click on upload defaults. From there, click on advanced settings. Now in advanced settings, this is where you're going to find the auto dubbing feature if it's been rolled out to your channel. Scroll down past language and certifications and you should find it right there right before the comments section. So if you don't see it between language and certification and comments, it hasn't been added to your channel yet. But don't worry, 
I did a bunch of digging around on YouTube's help, and it is going to be available more broadly um, in the near future. So if you don't have it yet, I'm sure that you will have it eventually. So just, you know, stay tuned for that. So from here, in the advanced settings, this is where you can turn it on and off for your entire channel. And you can also change previewing the dubs before they publish. So part of me thinks it's really important to preview the dubs, <laughs> although you'll see in a minute why um, I'm not sure how I can tell if it's great by previewing it. Partially, I don't know how to speak all of these languages, so I don't understand or I can't tell if they're accurate. So I think going forward, if you are watching one of my dubbed um, versions of one of my tutorials, and if you have questions, please feel free to ask those questions in the comments. I'm going to be adding titles and descriptions in the language that goes with the dub. So I can go and put your questions in Google Translate and then, you know, read what your questions are and then I can respond back to you in your native language. So I think it's going to be a little bit glitchy in the beginning, but they're really working hard to, you know, make it more accurate. Another way you can tell if you have this feature, a few days after it was added to my channel, this banner showed up at the top of my dashboard and you can see it's telling us that I've been I have the auto dub feature and there's even a button to go and manage my settings right there. Between you and me, I wouldn't have noticed I had that feature until I saw that banner had I not made the mistake with changing my video settings from English to Spanish. So now let me show you where to find this feature under the video that you're uploading. So when you go to upload your video, the first thing you're going to want to do is scroll down on the details page. So this information is on the details page, but you have to scroll down to the little button that says see more. Raise your hand if you ever scroll past that when you're uploading a video. Nine times out of ten, I don't go back pet down there to see what I have. I just keep going. You're going to find the auto-dubbing information right underneath licensing and distribution. So you'll be able to see that there. You can select manually review before publishing there. And I chose the the option to manually review all languages versus just the experimental ones. So I'm going to work with that and I'm going to see if I like that setting and if not I will update you. As part of my investigation to figure out why my Cool Tools video wasn't working properly, I converted one of my unlisted videos that I uploaded in the summer to public and I listened to it and it was perfectly fine. It was in English and there was nothing wrong with it. So after I set up my auto dubbing and I knew what was happening, I went back to that video and I tried to manage the settings for that in that video. You can see here that the auto dubbing feature is ghosted out. It's grayed out. You can't select it. So what I want to mention here is the auto dubbing feature is not available for your previously uploaded videos at this time. So the next thing I want to talk about is once you've uploaded your video, you have your auto dubbing set up, how do you actually go in and preview the dubbed videos? The first thing you do is you select the video you want to work with. Then you select languages from the left hand column. Now notice I was so excited because I knew what I was doing. I knew it was set up. I clicked on language and look at there's nothing. So notice there's some fine print and basically what that fine print says is the auto dubs will be processed af after the closed captioning. So basically it takes time for all of this stuff to get produced. The video I'm going to share with you in a minute to show you how the dubs actually sound is only a 30 second video and it did take a little bit of time to create all these dubs. So if you're 
working with a video that is, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes long, it may take a day or a part of a day for those dubs to get processed. So keep that in mind when you're uploading your videos. I went off and I did something else. I came back later and I clicked on my language tab again for that specific video. And you can see here, all of the languages are listed, but notice they're all listed as drafts, which means they're not published yet. So how do you check or preview a dub? You click directly on the language you want to preview. And once you do that, this screen pops up. So you can see it looks like a mini version of the details page when you uploaded the video initially. You have a title section and a description section. This is where I'm going to copy paste my original titles and my original descriptions into Google Translate and then paste them back in in the language that matches the dub. One issue I did have my title for my Cool Tools video was close to 100 characters, and when I converted them into the, the language, they were too long. So what I did was I used the first part of the title as the title of the video, and then the first sentence in the description was the rest of the title, and then I put the rest of the description. So that's how I'm going to handle that. I thought it would be nice to have a matching title and description for the language that the video was dubbed into. I recorded my screen so you can see how to preview these videos because again this is a 30 second video it's very short so let's watch this basically what I'm going to do is click the down arrow by the original language and it's going to give me the choice of the original language or this the French version and we're going to play them both so let's watch this hey everybody welcome to my channel I am doing this mini test which is going to be like a 10 second video just so I can figure out YouTube's new dubbing or automatic dubbing feature, which I'm so excited about because I get a lot of requests for videos um, to be translated in other languages. So I'm going to do this as a test and I'm going to see what happens once I publish. Bonjour à tous. Bienvenue sur ma chaîne. Je fais ce mini test, qui consistera en une vidéo de 10 secondes, juste pour que je puisse comprendre la nouvelle fonctionnalité de doublage ou de doublage automatique de YouTube, qui m'enthousiasme beaucoup car je reçois beaucoup de demandes de vidéos à traduire dans d'autres langues. Je vais donc faire cela comme un test et je vais voir ce qui se passe une fois que je l'aurai publié. Ok, so you can see in the French version, the dubbing is not matching the movement of my lips. I think this is something that they're working on. So you may have to be patient um, with that. Also, I can't tell if the dubbing is accurate because I don't understand French. But I think if someone in France who doesn't speak English wants to watch one of my tutorials, they probably can follow along better with this glitchy version of French versus trying to understand my English or trying to read English subtitles. So I'm very excited. Again, I just want to say again how excited I am about this feature. And I am sure going forward they're going to be improving it. So we're just going to have to watch and see as we go along with this. If you're happy with your dub, what you want to do is go back to your language tab and you click on draft or the little arrow next to draft and the drop down arrow gives you two choices. You can either publish the video or you can delete it. So if you know your audience and you know you don't have an audience for some of these specific languages, you don't have to publish them all and you can certainly delete the ones that you don't want. So you have the control to, to manage those things. I think that's very cool. Now, every language that you publish is going to show up in the audio tracks section of the settings under the video. So let me just show you one more quick um, screen capture video here where I'm showing you how to select a language to watch. Maintenant, en plus de ces choses, J'ai toujours mon souffleur et mon mini aspirateur chargé et prêt à fonctionner.
for yourself because they save you a ton of money. There's 15 of them in here and the price was $16.95. Isn't that cool? I am so excited. And I just want to just, I guess, take a minute and apologize to my audience for my snafu on Monday with my cool tools because in my Facebook group, people were asking what was wrong and, you know, people thought all sorts of things had happened. So I just want to reassure everybody everything is fine. Um, I'm excited that I was given this feature early on. I'm going to take full advantage of it. I'm going to work with it and I'm going to... Um, see how it develops and I really hope it helps all of my friends who are not English speaking follow along with me. I am so excited. Again, I just want to remind people if you're watching one of the dubbed versions and you have questions, please post those below and if you want to post them in your native language, go ahead. I'm very happy to translate them and then give you answers back in your native language. I'm really going to embrace this. I'm super excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, if you're enjoying my content, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel because it helps me grow. And I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Thanks so much.